Thanksgiving dinner is not complete without stuffing, and I like preparing it differently from year to year, and my family asks for all different kinds. Uh, pomegranate cornbread stuffing sounds really great, don't you think, Linda? It does. And uh, we're going to be using the recipe from your, your recipe from Palm Wonderful website. Um, and I love the recipe. It has apricots and raisins mm. and celery and pomegranate seeds. So... Um, I asked Linda if she knows my way of taking the pomegranate seeds out of the pomegranate, and she said um, that she described hers, which is a much more complex way of getting the seeds out. So what I've done is I scored around the pomegranate this way and then this way, just through the skin. Okay. Right. Then take the point of the knife and uh, right in the top, just break the pomegranate apart. It comes oh. apart very nicely. See how easily? And then, and then now it'll come into a quarter. I want to make sure I get the quarters. And then I used to, I mean, I learned this from a wonderful uh, Indian gentleman. Uh, so there's the, there's the quarter of the pomegranate. Usually I would sit there and pull the seeds out like that. Probably you do too. And you said right. you put them under water and break it this way. Right. But really all you have to do is hold it in your hand like that and hit it with a wooden spoon. Okay. The back of a wooden spoon. Watch this. All the seeds fall right into the bowl. Brilliant. Every, every seed. And you can walk around your house doing this. You'll have such a good time. Look. Oh, I will. Look. On the white carpet, it'll be fabulous. Oh, yes. But look, every seed comes out, Linda. Fabulous. Isn't that Brilliant. Great? I'm redoing the website oh, today. You have to. You have I to am. do this. Look, I'm all over every it. seed out of the skin. Isn't that great? You're a genius. Oh. Well, this is to share. I mean, this is because everybody, you know, people, people always struggle with their pomegranates. And you don't want anybody struggling with anything. Never. Okay? Life is so, as struggle as it is. Say, look, all gone. Fabulous. Okay, so then just that little membrane. Okay, and there you have all your gorgeous seeds. Very for, impressive. For our, our um, now, the stuffing. I'm following your directions. Okay. okay. So, Linda says she does not, she's not trusted with knives in the kitchen. Right. And it's so, true. Have you ever cooked? Uh, not really. She Stuart eats and once, she entertains really well. Stuart once said I was a mediocre cook, so he got um, a cereal from then on. Oh. <laughs> Two tablespoons of olive oil, right? And then uh, a half a green onion. So that's a scallion. Uh, sliced it already on, smells good. Oh, yeah. Sliced on <laughs> an angle. I love this. Uh, half a cup of celery. And you cook that just until it gets a little bit soft and translucent. And then add one cup of dried apricots. These are your apricots, right? No, no. Oh, do you have apricots? We dried? don't grow apricots. Oh, you don't? Oh, no. I thought you grew apricots, too. Oh, no. I've been telling everybody you grow apricots. Um, there's pistachios, clementines. Yeah. Oh, I love the clementines. I know, they're the greatest. Big greatest. food crops. Yeah. Oh, and the pistachios, the best. And, of course, the pomegranate. And then I'm and adding lemons and lemons. a cup of raisins. Now, how many acres of pomegranates are... We have 18,000 acres of pomegranates. In California. Yes, in the oh. beautiful San Joaquin Valley with that gorgeous sunshine and cool nights. It's and we so have 14 amazing. million trees all together for all of our crops. 14 million? 14 million. And how many pomegranates per tree about? Oh, there's so many on a tree. Hundreds, yeah. really, Hundreds. On, a, on a mature tree. How amazing. And yeah. it's a, a beautiful crop. So now we have this all nicely warmed and cooked. And we'll just turn that one off. So that has to cook down a little bit more to look like this. And look, the um, your are those your raisins? Did you say raisins? No raisins. Oh, no raisins. Not yet. Oh, not yet. But the night is little young. By, yeah, little by little, they're buying up the agro. You, you are the largest grower of tree, tree crops in the in right. the world. Tree yes. fruits and nuts uh, in yes. the world. Yes. So now this goes into homemade cornbread. Oh, it smells so good. Isn't that isn't that just great? This mm. one pound of cornbread. So make your own. Cornbread is about the easiest bread in the world to make. And we're going to add to this one egg. I'm glad you put egg in because I always put egg in my, in my uh, stuffing. And uh, that just helps bind it, right? Exactly. So just mix that up. That goes in. And we have chicken broth, about uh, two to three cups of chicken broth, just to plump up that dry cornbread. You don't want, you want a moist stuffing. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? Oh, we're going to be in Cabo. It's my daddy's 90th birthday. Oh, how nice. Isn't that fabulous? Yes. That I know. is really nice. And he's adorable. Oh, how great. So we're taking him there. Oh, how nice. He's going to love the good warm weather. But oh, you always, no. you have nice weather in California. Half a cup of parsley great. and a half a cup of melted butter. 
Wow. See, this is good. This is this is Maybe your recipe. I could add the pomegranate. Would you please? Those are I your pomegranate seeds. Okay. Can I just throw them all? Yep. In? All okay. of those. Okay. So about wow. a cup of pomegranate seeds. Beautiful. And then this is your stuffing. And we're not going to put this into the turkey because the turkey's in the Turbo Chef. Do yes. you have a Turbo Chef at home? No, but I will after oh, yeah. today, I assure oh, yeah. you. You no. sold me. Oh, you need it. I oh, know I, I need it. This is the best thing. I never thing. knew I needed it until today. Yes, yes, you need it. <laughs> Every big, good kitchen. And you entertain so much, it saves your chef a lot of time. Okay. I'm the chef in my house. I Here. know you are. <laughs> you, Martha made my cappuccino this morning. It was the best cappuccino I ever had. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, you liked it? I oh, loved good. it. That's really I'm great. Hooked. Oh, good. So here is our stuffing. You bake that in a preheated oven, uh, 350 degrees for about 25 minutes, and you have uh, a real treat mm. for your Thanksgiving guests. Look how mm. beautiful that looks. Yum. Fabulous. You want to taste? I do. Yeah. I do. So now there's some healthy news. Everyone in the audience is going home with a palm wonderful pomegranate. Enjoy it. Seed it the way I showed you. We'll be right back.